Now we've been asked to use calculus to find the maximum value of v. And so what does this mean? Well essentially, not that you need to know this, but um, what the graph looks like I should say, but it helps maybe to understand the concept. What we've got essentially is that if we were to sketch the graph of the volume as how it varied with x, you would actually find that you'd get for this particular equation a graph looking something like this. As I say, you're not necessarily expected to sketch the graph, no one's asking you to do that, but you've just got to imagine that you've got a graph behind the scenes, it looks something like this, and we're trying to find the maximum value of v, this point here in other words, okay? Now for a practical problem like this, x is a length and a length's got to be positive. So really this part of the graph here can be ignored. So we could take that part out if you like. And also the volume cannot be negative so even this part of the graph can be ignored. So really at the end of the day you've got a graph looking like this. If we ignore the other parts of it, we're trying to find this maximum value. And at this maximum value, the gradient here, that is if we drew a tangent, would be zero. And to get the gradient at any point on the curve, you use calculus. In other words, you differentiate dv by dx in this case. And at this point, dv by dx has got to equal zero. The gradient's got to be zero. And so that's basically what we've got to do in this question. We've got to differentiate this with respect to x and put it equal to zero and solve it for x and then we can find out the volume, the maximum volume. Okay, right, well let's start by differentiating this. So we can go down here and we'll just put therefore dv by dx, okay, equals and in the usual way if we differentiate 200x we're just going to get 200 and then if we differentiate this term we'd have a minus, multiply the 3 with the 4, and you get 4 threes of 12, drop the power by 1, so that'd be 12x squared divided by 3. 12x squared divided by 3 is just going to be 4x squared. Now we know that at this point here, at the maximum point, at the maximum point, okay, dv by dx equals zero. Well in fact dv by dx would equal zero whether it were at what we call a minimum point when the curve bends like this or just generally at any stationary point. So we've got dv dx equals zero so therefore we can put that 200 minus 4x squared equals zero and if we add 4x squared to both sides, we get 4x squared equals 200. Divide by 4, and you end up with x squared equals 50. And if you square root both sides, you get x equals, well normally you'd get plus or minus 50, but we just, need, just want to take the plus value, so that would be plus the square root of 50, because x is a length. Okay, so we've got the value of x, root 50, that would be this point, this value of x here. We now need to substitute it back into this equation and we'll get the corresponding value of v. So essentially when x equals root 50 we can get that v equals 200 times the square root of 50 minus 4 times the root of 50 all cubed divided by 3. And if you get on your calculator and work that out you should find that you get 942.809 and so on. And we're asked to give this to the nearest centimeter cubed so if we round that to the nearest centimeter cube we get 943 centimeter cubes and we'll just put there to the nearest centimeter cube. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this part of the question.